Okay, folks, today I want to talk about heat strip. We got a, a ream air handler here. We have to put a heat strip in this thing. I just want to kind of go over this a little bit with you. These are these are just the, the heating coils themselves. You actually have this in a heat pump. And, and in, as we do in Southwest Florida, this is our primary heat strip, the coils themselves. I just want to talk to you. This is a 10KW. I went ahead and marked 10KW on it. But right here is how you see that that's a 10KW this number here okay now i'm going to point out a couple things here this here are what we call heat sequencers okay the low voltage runs through here's the high voltage these are thermo discs they come on the other side so what happens these things will come on a run and it will allow the blower motor once it shuts off these things will run until they cool back down okay that's what these are this is a safety and here is where the actual high voltage is made up right here Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick how to put this in. I'm going to land up here. I've already taken a lot of the screws out of the doors so we don't have a long process of putting things in and out of the doors. Okay, see this blank here? This is where this goes. So I'm just going to take my cordless drill. I'm going to take this blank out. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to set it to the side. I'm going to take my heat strip, plug it in, and these holes line up perfectly on this side, okay? So I'm just going to take my hands here, I'm just going to hold it up, and see how the holes line up right there at the top? That one lines up. There's four of them. I'm not going to put them all four in because it's, it's not important to put it in. But one thing I do want to point out, you notice on the heat strip, now I had this loose, but most time these heat strips come in, the wiring harness is kind of tied into a knot, and you think, well, what is this harness for? This harness goes down here, and it plugs on the circuit board, okay? So we're going to do this real quick, then I want to talk to you about these other two wires. So you're going to pull this screw out right here. This ground is very important. Make sure this ground goes back on, okay? Because that carries off the static charge of the low voltage circuit, okay? Very important here. And then you got a couple screws down here. Now, if you notice on this particular uh, cover, you have a slot right here, okay? You always want to bring your wiring harness and you want to put it in this slot. So I'm just going to take this off. I'm going to take it right here and it plugs in right here. Now this here is a Molex plug, okay? It only goes in and out one way. You cannot mess it up. So we're going to look at it. How does it go? See my side, this flat side? See how this is flat? This is round, round and flat. So I'm looking at it. So it's going to go in. It's just going to plug in straight like right here. Hear it click? It's in. Now I'm going to take my plug here, and I'm just going to go right over here. I'm going to put everything back here very gently. I'm not going to go through the whole process of putting it back on. You'll get the point. Tuck your wires in all nice and neat. Make sure your wiring is coming through this hole, and you're done with that. Now let's talk about some wiring. This is very important right here. You have these other two wires coming off the heat strip. If you notice, they're going to your high voltage, okay? Now, one thing you got here on this side, you got red wire and you got black wire. What's really important is that you put the black wire on this side right here. I'm gonna try to get my fingers out of the way, but this black wire goes right here. You see how this black wire is right here? Put black to black, okay? Now you've got the red wire, you just put the red wire under the orange it doesn't matter but the black has to line up with the black because what happens if you don't do that it goes out of phase and it actually could burn up the heat sequencers okay folks that's really all there is to it just just take your time hook it up follow the directions we always put our videos on our website jonesairconditioning.com we always blog on them 
If you have any questions, if you have any comments, please ask us and we'll try to take care of it. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.